going on YouTube fam there you are again man has it been a hot minute since I made a video today's video we're back with the um, Ninja ZX6R I purchased some of these really cheap and I mean I mean they're really cheap these were only about 15 bucks for a set of these uh, grips on Amazon they're just cheap grips there's nothing special to them I want to see if I can get these uh, factory grips off of here and put these on and um, you know kind of get some more green on the bike it's been a while um, I'm in the building as you can see the shop it's getting there walls are up I have half the lights on I got to get another half the lights up I got to get doors on and I have to get a uh, new concrete floor this one's kind of messed up that's in due time with the price of uh, construction costs that went through the roof I'm kind of waiting for things to settle back down but anyway, I've been watching tons of videos on these grips and there's like a million ways to take them off, to put them on, to do all that crap. So I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure these are gonna fit. You know, I kind of um, kind of eyeballed them. These um, bar ends unscrew off here, but they're about the same length. So uh, definitely, I think I'm just gonna cut these factory ones off. Well, okay, I, I'm gonna try. To, um, there was a video that I saw where somebody sprayed some WD-40 or something or a can of air or whatever it was up, you know, up underneath the grip and it actually kind of slid off. But um, then there's grips that are glued on, so we'll see. But I have this WD-40 silicone lubricant, so I'm going to try that first. I'm going to try to get that, get that up underneath the grip if I can to you know lube it up to try to slide it off so at least i can save them in case i need them later but we'll see how that goes so uh i'm working out of a box of tools oh here's another thing in order to slide these on in my opinion i would think that the bar end would have to be off so that when you're sliding it on it could push air out the end of this grip but the grip came with the bar end already bolted on I don't know if you could see inside of there a little bit. There's a nut in there, way down in there that's holding this bar end on. And I went to take that Allen, I used an Allen wrench to try to take that bolt out. And it just kept spinning the nut on the inside of the grip. So that was a pain. So I, I don't know what size Allen wrench it is, but I do know that I used an Allen key here because I'm working out of a box, of, <laughs> box of wrenches again, so I don't have anything labeled. So I got an Allen wrench. And then I had to get an extension, a long extension on a socket. And this is a, what do we got, a half inch socket. So I was able to go up inside of the grip with the half inch socket and hold onto that nut while I unscrewed it with the Allen wrench. So now I got a hole through so that when I'm sliding this on, it'll, you know, the air can push out and it won't be a little bit less resistance. So here's all the parts you have. Here's the bar in bolt goes through there like that and then the washer would then drop down inside of the grip the bolt would come through the nut would go on so that's going to be fun trying to get this nut back on we'll see how that goes all right let's try to get these grips off the same size allen wrench to get these factory bar ends off as it is to put the new bar ends on so now this one was on there very tight i loosened it a little bit already but i had to get some leverage on that just to crack it it was on there very tight wow that's that's heavy probably use the same bar end if you wanted to we'll see all right, we're going to try the WD-40 trick. Yeah, a little flathead screwdriver, just trying to, trying to get it up under here. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Going in there. Ah, 
there's lips holding this rubber on. Yeah, it's glued on. It's coming off. Wow, that was easy. All right, let me get some paper towel. Wow, that was incredibly easy. I want you all to know that I have a terrible habit of looking into the actual screen where I can see myself other than the lens. I apologize for that. That's just, man, I started that. When I started filming, I started doing that. Can't stop now. Well, that grip came right off. I can't believe that. But we're probably gonna wanna clean that with some like rubbing alcohol or something because we're gonna wanna get, we don't want the new grip to, to be all slippery in there. So we're gonna have to make sure that's cleaned off real good. But let's get the other grip off. I just had my hair did by the way, can you tell? I loosened this one too, because these were cranked on there. I'm sure they were probably like Loctited on there or something. I don't know. Oh, God, still tight. Y'all been riding around? Checking out the sites? Cross country? Local? Let me know, man. I'm interested. Let me know in the comments. Where have you been riding this summer? Because me, really not much of anywhere. Had big plans this summer and hasn't really done anything. All I'm using is like a little eyeglass screwdriver. And actually this one's been, you probably can't see it, but it has been mangled to death. Oh, God. Now let's see if that loosened up at all. There's a, there's a little bit of glue up here at the very top. But I have a feeling once you, um, as long as you don't glue your new ones on, or if you do glue them, just do a little bit at the top like this. I think that um, the next time you change them, that ought to be a lot easier than the first time. There she comes, right there. <sighs> See, it pays to watch YouTube videos before you make YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> so many people just cut these off with a razor knife, which you can do if you don't want to ever use them again, but, you know, what if you want to sell the bike in like factory condition to the guy, you know, maybe the guy doesn't want all the green stuff on here like I have on, so I gotta go back and if I have all the parts, I can just swap all the parts, if I ever were to sell it, which I'm probably not gonna sell it, but if you were to sell it, if you were to sell it, that's what I'm saying. You don't have to sell it. <laughs> Snotty boogery stuff. Look at that, look at that. Nice and clean. Yep, a little bit of glue up here and there was a little bit of glue in the bottom. How's it? Let's do a test fit, see how the new ones go. All right, this is my first time ever putting these grips on, okay? 
So I would recommend you do your research before you know, you listen to me tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I'm showing you what I'm doing. So I had all that WD-40 on here, right? It's a silicone lubricant. It's gonna stay on there for a, a long time and every time it gets wet, it kind of like gets all slimy again, right? So I'm gonna rub both of these bars down with rubbing alcohol just to try to get all the off of it, all the stuff off of it. And uh, then we're gonna try to get these grips back on. And there's a, there's a tip or a trick that I saw where you rub rubbing alcohol on, you get it real wet with rubbing alcohol and then you can slide your grip on and then the rubbing alcohol evaporates leaving a perfectly dry surface underneath so that that grip doesn't spin on you. So we're gonna try that. First, I'm gonna clean it. I don't have much. This is just like cheap 91, this is, you know, dollar brand stuff here. All works the same. Okay, nice and dry. Now I've got my new grip. I took the end off already. So we're gonna go ahead and just ram this baby on there and see what happens. Let's get some more rubbing alcohol on here. See how I get that nice and wet like that. <laughs> like I've done this a hundred times. Look at that! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, look at that. I may be changing these things out like once a month. Oh, they're so cheap. Oh, that's nice, man. The other thing you gotta remember, one of these grips that comes, two grips come in a pack usually, and if, it, if they're correct, one grip is gonna have the inside diameter, the inside of that tube, one of them's gonna be seven eighths inches because that is the size of your bar. And then the other grip, because you have your throttle tube over the bar, the other grip is going to be one inch inside diameter. So keep that in mind. Make sure you have a one inch and a seven eighths and you gotta make sure they're different. Obviously the one inch would easily have slid on this side, but it would have been real loose. But the seven eighths is not gonna go on that side. So you gotta keep that in mind. And then there's the bar end. And then what I was, I was thinking about, remember earlier I said there was like a nut on the inside and yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that nut back on, but then I don't know what I was thinking. This should just screw right into the, you know, where the other bar end screwed into. If the screws are the right size and they are. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of Loctite. Just your normal blue Loctite. If you watch one of my other videos, you'll see where uh, Mrs. Moto completely lost all of her foot peg. It just fell right off her bike because I, I put new, uh, new pegs on and everything and I forgot to Loctite all the bolts up. So while she was riding, they. Sure enough, one of them vibrated loose and she dropped her whole shift mechanism and everything. <laughs> Check that video out. You don't need a lot of Loctite. All you need is like one little bead across the threads. And believe me, that's enough. When that stuff hardens... But again, you don't want this vibrating loose. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Like a pro. Look at that. Let's get a good look at that. Get a good look at that. Oh, baby, look at that. Sick. All right, let's do the other one. Okay, clean this thing off first. Okay, so as I suspected, I watched a, a specific video on this bike and there is a little lip here. I'll zoom in on it for you. There's a lip on the, oh, where are we at? There's a lip right here. 
and that lip is going to prevent my new grip from going on, especially because I have this uh, aluminum, you know, the aluminum metal here is not going to, it's not going to let me go over that lip. So it's only a plastic lip. It's part of the throttle tube. So I'm going to go ahead and grind that lip off and then the tube should slide on. Okay. So I'll get back to you after I grind that off. All right. I wanted to show you, I'm actually just using a regular razor knife and it's slicing these right off. Just watch your eyeballs because it's coming back at me. Seems to be slicing it right off. Okay, now let's try to get her on there again. All right. Just doing like a little test fit. I wanna make sure, yeah, I think we'll be good. Okay, we're gonna soak it down. Soak it down with the alcohol like the last one. Set this close because that alcohol dries immediately. So I want to do quite a bit. Soak it down, get it wet like that. And we're going to immediately look at that. <laughs> if you do it fast enough, if you do it fast enough. Okay, play right out here. Another move apart. Where'd the Allen wrench go? Oh, let me put some Loctite on that. Just doing a little bead of Loctite here. Just like that. Boop. Yep, you make sure you don't over tighten it because you want that snap back. Okay, there you go. That is sweet. And then once that Loctite dries, you'll be good, so. Okay, I got two sets of these grips. I got one for my bike and I have one for the wife's R3. I'll be doing another video putting them on the R3. So if you're interested in the R3, watch that video. It'll be coming up later after this video. And if you're only interested in this video, then you can just forget about the other video. All right, everybody, as always, hope you liked the video, subscribe, like, and I'll catch you in the next one.